Os. Konnichiwa, minasan, and welcome to Oshita Karate, where we look deeper into Ishinru Karate. Well, I'm out here in the woods, barefooted, of course, and uh, naturally I thought, well, this is a perfect place to look closer at Zenkutsu Dachi, or the front knee uh, bent stance. And we'll show you what Zenkutsu Dachi looks like in a moment. But before we get started, if you'd like to learn Ishinru Karate, please visit your local Ishinru Dojo. And if you'd like to learn Ishinru from me, please go to udemy.com and type in John Oshita. Or you can search Dissect the Dissection of Ishinru Karate, which is the course name. And if you're somebody that's already studying Ishinru, and you want to add to your martial arts library, please check out the Bunkai videos. You might find those uh, interesting. Now, what we're going to look at with Zenkutsu Dachi is the knee over the toe. So, what does the stance look like? We're going to step from our Heiko or our Kihon Dachi. We're going to step off forward with our front knee over our toe back is slightly leaning and our back leg is straight. Now this is Ishinguru Karate so our stances are a little bit taller and my Zenkutsu Dachi might look slightly different than yours. Here it is from this side. Notice that the knee is over the toe. If I pull up my gi pants you'll see that. And that's what we're going to look close at in this video. Zenkutsu Dachi is typically used for uh, uh, a strong punch and and it is a very strong stance in in our karate but today's video is going to be a little bit different and we're going to have to use our imagination now i have this uh, stick here this 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 rod and it's flexible and we're going to pretend that this is our opponent's uh, leg obviously not this long but from here down and uh, what I want you to imagine is this is the opponent's right leg all right so for example if I'm standing like this here this is the right leg so the foot is facing us and you're gonna see why I don't have a partner in today's video so we're going to step this uh, rod right here and I'm going to step off to the side and I'm going to drop my knee bend my knee and drop my stance down and you're going to see if I step away that this straight rod or this knee has now bent all right it's hyperextended okay and you'll see that we are striking with the drop itself in other words we're not just placing and then bending you're going to take and step into and attack the opponent's lead leg hyperextending the knee all right here it is from the other side if i have the uh off to this side now it's the left leg that is stepping forward and for whatever reason i'm grabbing up top and then we step deep uh dropping the knee and attacking the opponent's lead leg now notice that there is no light or space between the shin of mine and the shin of the opponents and then we lean into and you see how it has uh, hyper extended that one more time from this side stepping in notice the touch there's no space key component is to touch and then drop the knee in all right now I have a few sticks here to have some fun with. Let's grab a few and break them because naturally that's what you do out in the woods with Zenkutsu Dachi. Now again, I'm not insinuating or suggesting that this uh, technique will break your opponent's knee, but please, please be careful if you apply this uh, to your partner because it could and can cause injury, well, which is of course the point, but we don't want to do that in the dojo. All right, so here's my... Uh, unfortunate stick and uh, all these should break I, I, I try not to get something that was too too wild I'm gonna step lean and there it is 
You'll notice when you're doing it that you may have to uh, turn your front foot and curve your front foot around your partner's heel, almost like naihanchi dachi. And you see, I haven't got into the stance yet. Now I bend, and there it is. Again, we're not going to do this to our partner's leg. That's why I got these sticks here. Let's go from the other side. This would be the left leg off to the side. I'm going to step, wrap my foot around the back heel of the, uh, my opponent's uh, left foot. The knee and the shin are touching, and then we're going to lean. And you might find this interesting for multiple opponents. Hopefully you would never use this, but you have an opponent here and here. And if you use your fifth technique, that squat kick, you can grapple on this side, step in, attack that leg, and then of course kick the groin of the secondary opponent. In my perfect hypothetical world. Here's a few more we can break. Here's a big one. Again, stepping off to the side, touching shin to shin, and then back straight and leaning in. And causing some damage. That looks like that would have hurt. Every time you do your kata and you find yourself in Zenkutsu Dachi, you might want to remember this video and it might help you define your bunkai a little more. Hey, that's it. We did it all. So, if you'd like to learn more Ishinguru Karate from me, please go to udemy.com check out my courses there and of course visit your local Ishinru Dojo and when you're learning and you get to this stance and you learn all the multiple reasons for it you might remember this video and it might help you with how you study your bunkai in your Ishinru Karate. Alright, I appreciate you. We'll see y'all in the next video. Domo arigato. ございました。